Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Trago, welcome to my Demon Souls Platinum Trophy Guide. And for today's episode, we're going to be, uh, this is going to be a special episode of sorts, we're going to be taking on the Black Phantoms, and we're also going to be making unique weapons. So, as you guys uh, can notice, I'm in a Valley of Defilement, and uh, right behind me, waiting for, uh, waiting, waiting for my, uh, huh. For our duel is uh, Black Phantom Cell and Winland. Uh, I decided to do her first just because she is the longest one to get to. As you can also tell, I have uh, upgraded my intelligence to 15 just so I can use Second Chance. Uh, pretty helpful miracle, especially as you go on into later stages of the game. You have to take out Black Phantoms and you have to go into the last level of the Boletarian Palace. So I'm going to go ahead and take on her right now. Uh, she uses a regeneration miracle for recovery uh, to regenerate some of the health. Uh, she also uses bind, which is uh, kind of an annoying weapon to go up against just because uh, not only does she deal a lot of damage in her black phantom form, but it also uh, hits her shield. So you can't really block it as effectively, I suppose. So you just gotta kind of, the best strategy that I found is just kind of uh, uh, wailing on her, I guess. With, uh, the Mirrodin Hammer is really good for that. No, you don't, bitch. Alright, and as you kill her, uh, you will get Bind, uh, which is her sword. It hits for shields, it's a dexterity weapon. Uh, it's also needed for Platinum Trophy, so this is one of the reasons why I have to do it. Another reason to fight her is to uh, get your character tendency all the way up to uh, pure white. So, and you get another Thief's Ring here too. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Nexus. As you can tell right now, I have all of my uh, worlds in pure black world tendency. So uh, I did not, I did not show myself suicide in a bunch of times in uh, different worlds, but that is how you get uh, pure black world tendency. You gotta suicide uh, a number of times, depending how what, what your world tendency is. Uh, Usually it's set to one below pure white, which means you have to suicide six times to get in a pure black world tendency. So right now, without any further ado, we are going to go into 4-1 uh, and we'll take on a black phantom Tsuki. Uh, he will drop hitless when he dies. So uh, not a not not necessarily needed fight because you probably picked up hitless in a 4-2. Uh, it's located there, so this is just the second copy, or in case you missed it there, uh, you can pick one up here, so. Uh, he's also protected by the skeleton, so just be careful, either you draw him out, or, uh, oh yeah, and you gotta... Make sure you don't allow him to hit you, because he hit, he does hit pretty hard in his Black Panther form. But he's probably, out of all the Black Phantom enemies, he's probably the easiest one. Uh, does not seem to have as much uh, HP, so I'm going to go ahead and evacuate. I could have probably just used the Archstone, but whatever. So I got him down. Uh, three more to go. Uh, next we're going to do Lord Rydell up in the Tower of Latria. He is located right by where his uh, Blue Phantom form is. Uh, towards the lower levels of the prison. I think it's the first floor of the prison, the first level. First world. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, teleport there right now, and uh, we'll go ahead and cast Second Chance. 
he drops a phosphorescent pole, uh, which is one of the weapons needed for Platinum Trophy. Uh, just another reason to kill him. He's one of the mandatory Black Phantoms that you have to kill, so to speak. Uh, the other one being uh, Selen Winland. Oh, and for some reason I just used to evacuate. My bad. It's Sunday night and I've been uh, hanging out and drinking for uh, most of the day, so... Definitely not 100% at this point. It's uh, 2 o'clock here and I just got back home, so gotta work tomorrow and I gotta get up in like 6 hours, so I just wanna make this video as fast as I possibly can, but uh, I seem to be failing at that already. Alright, so, uh, second chance, not evacuate. Uh, you definitely wanna use that when you fight Black Phantoms, just because they do hit pretty hard. I mean, you can also, like, parry them, and you can, um, you can just wail on them, use magic, whatever, but for this playthrough, I'm, you know, I'm playing as safe as I possibly can play it, so, uh, I'm using blessed weapons, tons of regeneration items, I got the Judicator Shield, Regenerator's Ring, um, blessed weapons, so, yeah. The whole point is that I'm basically making myself as hard to kill as possible for this playthrough. Alright, and as far as I know, I think we got uh, one more uh, Mind Flayer to kill before we confront Lord Rydell in his Black Phantom form. So, we're almost there. Oh, luckily for us, that uh, Mind Flayer was right there. And as you can see, uh, Lord Rydell is waiting for us near his cell. That phosphorescent pole does not seem like a really good weapon. Um, at least one-handed is not. I've actually, over all the days that I've played this game, I've actually never used it. I haven't used like a lot of special weapons, like bind. I've re I, I don't think I really used that at all. Uh, I haven't used like large sort of searching outside of like. Farming. I haven't used dozer eggs at all, uh, and so on and so forth. So they just don't seem to be as good as uh, like just regular weapons that you find, like great eggs outclasses dozer eggs by a long shot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and teleport to the nexus, and next we're gonna go ahead and visit Skurver um, back up at uh, the Stonefaint Tunnel. And Skurver is probably the toughest uh, Black Phantom just because he's got some powerful magic and he can uh, one-shot you if you're not uh, high enough of soul level. Uh, just so you guys know, he does use Ignite and Firestorm. And they do quite a bit of damage. But I should be able to take him regardless. And he will drop Talisman of Beasts. Uh, probably one of the better items in this game. It allows you to cast magic and miracles at the same time. And if you use it uh, when you don't have enough stats, 
for either the magic option or the faith option. It still works, so you can use cursed weapon even if you don't have enough magic. So uh, make sure to prevent him from casting uh, regeneration. Otherwise, it makes a fight a lot longer than what it should be. And as you see, the hammer is probably the best weapon for him just because it keeps him at bay. Uh, make sure you dodge his spells. They're pretty damaging. And uh, attack him anytime he tries to cast a regeneration. And it makes for an easy fight. So, as you can see, it goes down without too much problem. I pick up uh, Talisman of Beast and I teleport back home. And the last one remaining is the Black Phantom Execution Emeralda. As you can see on the screen, uh, you can find her in the world 1-1. Uh, one, one. Uh, she's right towards the start. Uh, if you remember my... I believe first video of this uh, playthrough, I fought her uh, regular form. Uh, this time you fight her black phantom form and she will drop a uh, guillotine X. Not a weapon you need for the platinum, but for the sake of uh, being a completionist, yeah, I will just go ahead and fight her here as well. And after this, uh, hopefully we'll be able to beat her without too much trouble. And we'll go ahead and teleport to the Nexus and we'll be able to receive the Friend's Ring from the Monumental. Now as you can see the store is open now in a pure Black World Tendency. Uh, you gotta watch out for all the draglings. Uh, there will be... I believe 8 Black Phantom Draglings that uh, spawn in total. Uh, they shouldn't be too much trouble at this point. Uh, they're only trouble like earlier on. So... Just go ahead and kill him. There's a Crystal Lizard right here. Uh, usually it'll drop like shard or large shard of uh, Hearthstone or Sharpstone. So there's another group of draglings. Not too worried about them doing any damage to me right now. I'm uh, high enough of a level to just take them on without really any hassle. Uh, the Black Phantom Miralda, on the other hand, she's a uh, Tougher enemy just because she can stun like you with a guillotine axe and she deals enough damage to kill you in the combo, so uh, make sure you recover some stamina and heal if you have to. You see me heal right here. Uh, she hits pretty. She's the Gillian X has a deceptively fast uh, move set. So don't take her lightly. Uh, if you're lower level than uh, I am at this point, uh, the best thing to do is just to block her first hit and then uh, wrap around her and backstab her or uh, parry her if you're feeling confident so but uh, watch out again she can pull off a combo and stun like you and you'll be dead all right now we're gonna go back to the nexus pick up the friend's ring for the monumental and we will also after this we'll go ahead and uh, Visit Blacksmith Ed, I believe, or Baldwin, no, I think it's Ed, Blacksmith Ed, at the Stonefane Tunnel and uh, farm some uh, unique weapons that are forged by the boss souls. Alright, 
now just go ahead and talk to Monumental. In order to receive ring, friend's ring, okay. um, you have to say yes to this mission when he first offers it to you when uh, you talk to him after beating the first level. So make sure you say yes there. And you'll be A OK. All right, now that we've got the friend's ring, um, the only two rings remaining are foe's ring and uh, the ring, the stamina regeneration ring that you get from Old King Doran. Uh, we'll get that in the next video. We'll probably get both of them in the next video, actually. Uh, right now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, forge a bunch of unique weapons. So I'm going to go ahead into the Stone Fink Tunnel and talk to Blacksmith Ed. I did not actually realize that you could die that way. Uh, I thought you could just jump down and you'll be okay, but oh well. And then chuck up another stupid death. So I love these games, so I can just uh, look at the loading screen every time I die. At least they have cool loading screens. All right. Being a little more careful this time around. Now, uh, since we gave him the Flame Lurker Soul, we can go ahead and make uh, special weapons. Uh, if you up, if you have a Pure Blood Demon Souls and a Broken Sword that you pick up in 5-2, you can forge a Blue Blood Sword, which is what we'll do now. Uh, any kind of large sword, plus 8, such as Claymore, Bastard Sword, uh, Great Sword, and so on and so forth. Uh, it will, you can forge it into Marion Blade with a Storm Demon Soul, which you get for beating Storm Beast in 4-3 in the Shrine of Storms. So we'll go ahead and forge that. Uh, Scimitar Rainiatic Curse Sword, uh, plus 8, will uh, get you a large Sword of Searching combined with Hero Demon Souls. Any kind of rapier weapon plus seven uh, can be forged into Needle of Eternal Agony with uh, mixed demon souls that you get for beating man eaters. Uh, X plus six of any sort will get you Dozer's X combined with great demon souls for beating Vanguard. Club, a large club, will get you meat cleaver. You can get it. Uh, by forging some uh, some other hammers to plus six, such as pickaxe, but the best way to forge it is just get in a regular club or a large club. Uh, that way, you don't need to put any other upgrade materials into it, and it's forged by using swollen demon souls that you get for being the Chidicator in uh, Shrine of Storms. Spear, uh, wing spear, or short spear upgraded to. Uh, Plus 7 will get you Scraping Spear combined with Bleed Demon Souls for beating Phalanx. Uh, great low level weapon that you control people with at the early stages of the game. Uh, any kind of bow upgraded to plus 7 uh, in conjunction with the Hard Demon Souls that you get for beating Armored Spider will get you the Lava Bow. And any Catalyst. Uh, upgraded with uh, yellow demon souls that you get for being old monk will get you insanity catalyst. Alright, now we've got all these uh, weapons. Uh, these are all the weapons that uh, you get for using boss souls. Uh, the only other weapon that we have left is Northern Regalia, which is uh, forged by, use, by combining soul brand and demon brand. I'm going to go ahead and teleport back right now, deposit all the weapons uh, that I've received, and after that, 
we're gonna go into the 4-1 in our next video uh, for now I'm gonna go ahead and take a break and after 4-1 I'm gonna make a video where I'll show some farming tips uh, as well as forging regular weapons uh, with different stones for now I'll just go ahead and drop off all the stuff that I've received And I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And hope you guys have a good day.